Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can correctly set up our cruise control function on our Hexashift machines with Cebus. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus Hexashift machine looking at some of the automatic functions that we have on this transmission type. So we have an option on these machines called cruise control which is as it says on the tin. What it does is it works in combination with our engine memories. So the fact that we have a set RPM or we can then turn our cruise control on and we can use a cruise control value. So how do we do this? Well, if we pop into our transmission menu on the right hand side of the screen, we'll see firstly we have a cruise control sub menu. So in here we have two settings. We have the ability to turn on our cruise control. So by doing this, we turn off our engine memories and we turn on our cruise controls. Due to the fact of the way the transmission works, we can only use one or the other. We then see another setting here, cruise control disabled by throttle pedal. So again, as it says on the tin, by turning this on, once cruise control is activated, if I then touch my throttle pedal, it will deactivate itself. So very, very similar to how a car behaves. So how do I then set a speed? Well, there's two ways. Firstly, we have a dedicated speed menu in here where we can define the speed that we would like for our two different cruise control values. So for instance, maybe number two, I would like as my road speed. So I would set that to maximum. And maybe number two or number one, I should say, I would want as my cultivation speed. So maybe 11K if I have a set of discs on behind me, for example. And then I can use my dedicated number one and number two buttons below the screen that you can see here to activate these values. Again, if I was to then pop back into my cruise control menu, turn my cruise control off, these buttons would now be located as my engine memories. So 1500 RPM for number one and 2000 RPM for number two. How do I then set these more manually? Well, I can use the buttons themselves. So again, by having cruise control turned on and I'm then driving at my desired speed value, so maybe 20K in this example, I can press and hold the button. I would hear an audible chime. This would then tell me that I've saved that speed value for that cruise control. I could then use the plus and minus keys alongside these buttons to fine tune this value to the exact speed that I desire. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.